All right, we're talking Red Sox now with Bill Koch of the Providence Journal and the Red Sox and Rays neck and neck in the AL East heading into this series that began tonight. Um, I know it's only late June, but how big of a series is this, Bill? I just think it's nice that you reach this point in the season and you're playing for first place. It's so different from where they were in 2020. It's a real sign of progress. And, you know, you got the Rays maybe a little bit vulnerable uh, coming into the series, losing six in a row. Uh, you know, potentially the Red Sox could capitalize here and you know, maybe build themselves a little bit of a lead atop the division. Yeah, so how do you handicap the AL East right now? Because it's these two battling for the top. We know how good the Jays are, especially offensively. I don't know what you think about the Yankees if they're sort of waiting in the wings here. How does this play out this summer? It's interesting because Tampa has injury troubles right now, Yanni. Obviously, Tyler Glass now suffering a partially torn UCL in his right elbow. He was clearly their ace. Um, and Tampa, although they seem to have this you know, sort of inexhaustible reserve of, of pitchers, eventually that will hit critical mass. Their lineup is very average. They're in the middle of the league in OPS. So how long can they sustain mm -hmm. all of these pitching injuries? I'm not quite sure. I still think that the Yankees will be there in the end uh, simply because aside from the Red Sox, I, I think they have the best combination of pitching and lineup in the division. All right, right now, what is working for the Red Sox offensively? Uh, what is working in terms of pitching? And of course, the big story throughout Major League Baseball is all the foreign substances pitchers are using right now to gain advantage. What do you make of how that has impact the Red Sox pitching specifically? Well, in terms of two through five in the lineup, they're very solid with Verdugo, Martinez, Bogarts, and Devers. Hunter Renfro has been excellent since May 1st. That sort of lengthened the order a little bit and, and given them a good offense. They're top five in the league in OPS mm -hmm. and in runs scored. So a, a good unit there. Uh, in terms of the pitching staff, the, the starters have struggled a little bit, uh, but you enter Tuesday night 11 and 6 in your last 17. Somehow you're managing to put it together. Um, I'm interested to see what happens in terms of the staff with respect to foreign substances. Uh, Garrett Richards, who, who started tonight, um, didn't throw a curveball in his last outing in Atlanta. Now you could say that it might have been the humidity or he struggled to get a grip. Or you might think it was something a little more nefarious. Uh, you also look at the spin rates on his fastball. Those were a little different than in previous outings and in, in his 2021 average. So you look for those little clues to, to see what happens with the Red Sox and which guys may be forced into making some adjustments here in accordance with the MLB reforms. I know there hasn't been a ton of update on sale since we last talked, but any update on your end on when you think he'll be out there? He was throwing off the mound in Portland earlier today, uh, the Red Sox AA affiliate. He's scheduled to do so again on Friday. Uh, and if he doesn't have any setbacks, he could be facing live hitters in batting practice as early as next week. Uh, he's making good progress here. These are good steps. Uh, these generally proceed going out on a rehab assignment. And if he's able to make it to that point, it becomes about building up his pitch count. Can he get to 50? Can he get to 60? And what the Red Sox consider acceptable to pitch him in a major league game, whether that's 80, 85, 90, to the point where they think he'll be able to compete and not put too much strain on the bullpen. All right, he's Bill Koch, covers the Red Sox for the Providence Journal. Bill, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll have much more from the Sports Wrap coming up right after this.